Welcome to Madison Memorial Hospital. We are so excited to help you with your labs today. Come on in and sign in on the kiosk available by both entrances. This enters your information into the queue for admitting and begins the registration part of your visit. Go ahead and take a seat by the admitting and watch the large screen above the door for your phone number. It will direct you to the booth where they are waiting to serve you. In admitting, they will take your personal information and find your doctor's order. You will be given a buzzer to take with you. Your buzzer will blink and vibrate when the phlebotomist is ready for you. He will walk with you back to the draw room. In the draw room, you will sit in a chair with three arms. See the blue strap? It is a tourniquet. It is made from soft rubber. This will be tied onto your arm to make the tubes inside your body that carry your blood pop up so he can see them better. After putting on clean gloves, the phlebotomist will fill around in different places on your arm until he finds the very best place to collect the blood. Next, he will clean your arm with a little alcohol pad. This will feel a little cold. Oh, look, he's wiping his finger off too. He's very careful to do everything he can to help avoid exposure to any germs. He will fill around a little more and quickly draw your blood. This will only take a minute. He will hold a little gauze pad over the site so it will stop bleeding. Look, you can watch as he transfers your blood from the syringe into the special tubes for testing. It's really very cool. The tubes have a vacuum inside and they take all the blood in by themselves. It's time for a band-aid and you're good to go. Your blood, however, is just beginning its journey. A special label with your name and birthday is put on the tubes. They go into bags and are sent in the pneumatic tube to the main lab, just like your checks go into the bank. Look, here it comes, the same pneumatic tube. It is unbagged and inspected. See how she's moving it back and forth? She is a certified laboratory scientist. She is checking the yellow tube to see if the blood is clotted and ready to go into the centrifuge. She balances it with another tube and then it will spin the blood for seven minutes really, really fast. This causes the cells to go to the bottom and the liquid part goes to the top. She can then run tests the doctor ordered on the liquid part. You may have a bank at home that you keep money in. Well, we have a bank here in the lab. It has something even more valuable, blood. The blood is donated and can be used to help replace blood when lost during an accident, surgery, or even delivery of a baby. We test your blood to see what type it is and make sure the blood given is compatible and safe for you to receive if you need it. In the lab, we use many different colors of tubes. Different tests take different types of tubes depending on what we are going to test the blood for. In this purple tube, the blood stays just like it is when it comes out of your body. We use it to do cell counts. We count the white cells, the red cells, and the platelets that are in your body. The doctors can use that information to tell if you have an infection or even if you are dehydrated. Some of the tests we do are quick tests. If I put that purple tube on the analyzer, it will only take a few minutes to give me a result. We look at the blood cells under the microscope and we can determine healthy or sick cells. Other tests can take 20 to 45 minutes after we put them onto the machine. And some tests that the doctors order, we don't run here. We have to send these tubes to another lab somewhere else. And that can take a couple of days before we get those results back to our laboratory. Look at this analyzer. It is our main chemistry analyzer. It has lots of moving parts inside. The blood is put in this rack and then set inside. Inside we use different types of reagents and chemicals. It even makes its own little bubbles. 
This machine can tell if someone is having a heart attack. It will run several different tests at the same time. When testing is complete, the certified lab scientist will interpret the results and record it in the computer. These results are then faxed to your doctor. Oops, watch out for bugs. Here is where we grow bugs, or the correct term bacteria. Bacteria is what causes many of the infections that will make you sick. In the microbiology part of the lab, lab we do three things. First, we grow the bacteria on jello looking plates. Second, we identify the kind of bacteria, like strep that causes sore throats and staph that causes pimples. Then the third thing is we tell the doctors what medicine is best to kill the bacteria. So you can see our job is very important. The lab is a very important team player as we all work together to help diagnose, treat those who come through our front doors. We're very happy to serve you and are here waiting to help you live a healthy, active life. Thank you so much for visiting us today.